We are only a couple of months away from high heat and daily temps towering well into the triple digits. But get this, a new report finds that we could be in for the summer sizzle for up to six months a year by, 20, uh, by 2100. Yeah, could that really be the case for our kids and grandkids? As Team Charles Michael Doudna shows us, not all think that this hell on earth scenario will pan out that way. The dashboard reading like 120, it's pretty brutal right now. For too many days, it's already too hot. But what if summer lasted for half a year? I, I just can't imagine what that would be like. Um, I'd probably move. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what may happen according to a new report, which says by 2100, we could see summer stretch to almost six months. But not everyone agrees that will happen. But to go to six months of summer is not, uh, it's, the models don't support it. That's Nancy Selliver, Arizona's state climatologist. Um, obviously, we're getting warmer, you know, so, but the thing to remember is it's not a, it's not a linear progression. The new report from the American Geophysical Union uses historical data showing that summers are getting longer and the years are getting hotter. And following models and projections, AGU says it points to nearly six month long summers. Uh, it's moving back, but I don't think it's going to be jumping to where all of a sudden what we would send to see in July and August is something that we're going to start seeing in May. Silver says there's no doubt temperatures are going up, but they're going up slowly and claims the report's projections are off. It's, yes, it's creeping, but it's taking a long time to creep. AGU stands by its research, which they say represents a worst case scenario. While Selliver refutes the six month long summer theory for pretty much any situation. However, she does say we need to do more work from infrastructure to work at home to make sure our long summers don't get any longer. Michael Doudna, 12 News.